did Adobe just copy to Capture One? Adobe released a new tool instead of Lightroom and Camera Raw. And that tool does exactly what a skin tool feature instead of Capture One does. And it's called Variance. And I think Capture One users like myself might consider switching because it's much more easier to do inside of Camera Raw compared to Capture One. Now what is Variance and what is Variance tool used for? The Variance is used to unify colors. So let's say you shot an image and the color of the face is different from the color of the body. You can actually use the various tool to unify the colors seamlessly and it's going to look really, really good. And not just skin tone, you can actually use this variance tool to even as the color of your background to make it look uniform or the same. For context, let's try the new variance tool side by side with Capture One skin tool feature. So if I want to even this skin tone, normally what I do inside of Capture One, I'll just come to my people, select the body and the face and create mask. I'm just going to create a mask of only the skin for me. Now if I press M and I turn on the mask, you can see it just mask out the skin for us. So to even on the skin tone inside of Capture One, I'm going to come to my color. Under my color editor, I'm going to see skin tone. I'll select skin tone. Then click on this picker tool and sample any color I want the rest of the skin tone to look like. For instance, let's say I want the color of my skin tone to look like this skin tone right here. I'm going to sample this color. Immediately I do that, it's going to open right here. Now to unify the skin tone side of Capture One, all I have to do is scroll the way down. And under this uniformity, I'm just going to move the hue slider up and move the saturation slider up like that. So the more I do it, the more it's just going to unify or even the skin tone. Now take a look at the image. You can see those green on this part are no longer there. Let's quickly see the before and after. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Now what you can do from here, we can just come to the amount and just play with the hue amounts to make it more orange or take it towards the green side to make it more green depending on all you want. Also, you can play with the saturation and also the lightness if you want to do that. So this is how I usually even out my skin tool inside of Capture One. This feature is now available inside of Lightroom and Camera Raw and it's called the various. Let me show you how that works. Once I open that same image set of Photoshop, so even at the skin tone, I'm going to duplicate my program layer by pressing on Command J and just convert for smart filter first. So click on filter and click on convert for smart filter. Now this is where I convert to smart filter so that you can easily go back and make any adjustments if you want to do that. So after converting for smart filter, I'm going to click on filter again and click on camera or filter. From here, I'm just going to mask out the skin as well. So I'll come to my masking and just wait for these people to load. So once these people finish loading, I'm going to click on best in one and just select the facial skin and the body skin and hit create mask. So you're just going to create a mask of the skin for me. Now for me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to see this point color. Once I click this point color, I'm just going to sample any part of the skin tone I want the rest of my skin tone to look like. So let's take a color from here as well. So I'm going to click here. I'm just going to sample that color for me. Now what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to scroll all the way down. If I come to this variance, see what happens if I move the slider up. If I take it up, it's just going to differentiate the colors. You can see now the green of the image are now more visible. So to even out the skin, so what I'm going to do, instead of taking it up, I'm going to take this variance slider down to, let's use minus, minus 50, let's see. All right, so this is minus 50. You can see it's looking even more better. But you can take it all the way to zero, but I'm not advised to do that because right now it's looking too much. So let's just use um, bad minus 50. Minus 50 actually works. And from here, you can choose to increase the range. Also, move the hue range like this. Come to the saturation range, move the saturation range. Also, move the lightness range if you want to do that. Now let's see the before and after. See the before and the after the before and the after. You can see the whole colors are now looking even. What you can do from here, maybe you want to reduce the lightness of the skin tone. You can come to this luminous and just take it down to reduce the overall lightness of the skin tone or move it up to add lightness to the skin tone if you want to do that. Also, you can play with the saturation, move the saturation up if you want to add saturation for the skin tone or take the saturation down if you want to reduce saturation from the skin tone. What you can also do, you can also move the hue. If you want to make it more red, you can move it to the red side. If you want to make it more green or more yellows, you can move it to the green and yellow side like that. So I'm going to leave it at default. I think I'm going to take the luminance down a little bit. Just add a bit of saturation and just move it towards the yellow side a little bit. And take this variance 
up a little bit. I feel it's looking too much, so I'm going to take it up a little bit. Now, see the before and the after. Once you are done, hit OK. All right, so let's have before and after inside the water shop. This is our before and this is our after. And that is how you can use the various tool to even out skin color inside of camera roll. You can also use the various tool to even out the colors of the background. I'm going to show you that in a bit. But what I want to say is, you can see how easy it is to even out skin tone inside of camera roll compared to Capture One. So this is why I think most Capture One users might consider switching to Lightroom. Now let me show you how you can use it to even out background color. If you look at this image, you can see the colors are not looking the same. This part is a little bit greenish, while this part is a little bit yellowish. Now to even it, I'm going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing on Command Option Shift E or Control Alternate Shift E if you're using the Windows and just come to Filter, Convert to Smart Filter, very important. After converting to a Smart Filter, I'm going to come to Filter again and come to Camera Roll Filter. What I'm going to do from here, I'm just going to mask out the background. So I'm going to my masking and just select background. Once I mask my background, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll all the way down to point color and click on this picker tool and just select any color I want the background to be. If I want the background to be this color, I can select this color. If I want to be this color, I can select this color. So I want to have this green tint. So I'm going to select the green color right here. Immediately I do that, it's just going to select the colors for us. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the range, all right? and move the hue range to this part. Move the hue range like this. Also, come to the saturation range and just move it like so. And come to the lightness range, which is the luminous range, and just move it like this. And by the way, if you can't find this hue, saturation, and luminous range, just click on this arrow right here and just go to open up for you, all right? So once you do that, I'm gonna to come to my variance again and just take the variance down. And immediately I do that, you can see it's just even out the skin color and just make it look uniform for us. So if I take it up, it's just going to make it more different. And if I take it down, it's just going to unify it and just make everything look the same. All right, so see the before and the after. And from here, you can choose to reduce the lightness, which is the luminance, or increase it if you want to do that. Also, you can choose to move the saturation if you want to do that, or change the color with the hue if you want to change the color with the hue like this. But I'm going to leave it at default. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the luminous down a little bit and hit OK. See our before and after. Our before and after. OK, this new various feature is good news for Lightroom users. Honestly, the skin to feature inside of Capture One was one of the main reasons I could fit Capture One over Lightroom. There are other reasons, and I made an in-depth video comparing Lightroom and Capture One. Click here to watch that video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.